What's going on everybody? I'm the Weird Vape Guy and today we're going to be making Mohawk Quills and reviewing Milky Pistachio by Squeeze Juices. So the two wires that you're going to be needing for this build is 26 gauge and 36 gauge. Now you could use 28 gauge uh, or go even lower than that, but for this build I'm going to use 26 gauge as the core wires. So we're going to take our 26 gauge and we're going to take about a foot and a quarter to a foot and a half and we are going to place it in the drill and with the other end we're going to hold it with our pliers and we're going to straighten it out. After that you're going to place the 26 gauge and your 36 gauge into the chuck of the drill to get ready to be clapped in. On the other end of your 26 gauge you're going to hook it through the swivels, pull that spool tight and clap in all the way down. Now leave a little bit of the 26 at the end naked because you're going to want to hold that with your pliers and then throw the drill in reverse to loosen that 36 gauge because we're going to be decoring it. So the next thing that we're going to do once you've got your 36 gauge pretty loosened, you're going to decor it from the 26 gauge and what I actually do is I clip off a little bit of the beginning of, that, of the Clapton. Um, it seems to get hung up sometimes when you're trying to pull it off but I've learned that if you snip a little bit off of the beginning there it should slide right off of that 26 gauge once you have your decord 36 gauge clapped in just place that on the table and then i need you to measure out twice the length of that first 26 gauge once you've done that go ahead and straighten out that longer piece of 26 gauge after that you're going to loop it through the swivels and fold it in half Pull them pretty tight and make sure they're all the same length and if they're not, cut off the excess. After that, what I like to do is put the D-cord 36 gauge clapped in in the chuck of the drill and then I'm going to stretch it. Now, you are not going to stretch it as far as you would like if you were making an alien clapped in. You're going to stretch it a little bit less than that. It's going to make it a lot easier to make your mohawk and it's going to make it a lot tighter. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put everything back into the chuck and you're going to treat everything as if you're going to make a Clapton basically. Once you've done that, switch your drill in reverse because that's how we're Claptoning this is, is it's going to be in reverse. Now the best thing that I have seen is that you're only going to want to put a little bit of tension while when you're making your mohawk on your 36 gauge just a little bit of tension goes a long way and if you're starting your mohawk and it's not coming together just give it time just hang with it and eventually it'll start going into a pattern and creating that nice mohawk look you can start out slow if that works best for you um, I have done this just way too many times so I can do it slow or I can do it with the drill just full power full speed I will say if you get to the point where, you're, where you can do it um, full power full speed on the drill the mohawk is going to look a lot tighter and basically it will be a lot tighter it'll look a lot cleaner as well
Once you get all the way down, just cut everything off and start to wrap it. The best way to wrap this thing is just twist it and fix it up as you're wrapping it. That's I have found that to be the best way and it's never given me that, you know, it, any real problems. Now, I'll have to be honest here. I already did this build. The problem is, is that halfway through it, I forgot to hit the record button. So, and I made two pretty perfect Mohawk quills. But since I had to remake them for the video's sake, I thought it'd be kind of cool just to do one Mohawk quill in like six wraps. And I did what Ownboy Josh did, and I paired that with 22 gauge round wire. The reason why you would want to turn this into a stage heating coil by pairing it with round wire is that a mohawk is very, very delicious and it has a very, very great vape, but it does have a tendency to pop and spit. But once you turn it into a stage heating coil, all that's really happening there is, is that that 22 gauge is heating up first and then it's heating up the mohawk coils and you're not getting any spit you're not getting any popping or anything like that and honestly the vape is a lot more enjoyable like this so if you are building this you can try it either way but i prefer the stage heating coil over just having just the mohawks in in an in a rda rdta or whatever you got so once i got everything wrapped up and looking pretty i put it into the kylan and i know that i've already put something in the kylan but i love this tank it is by far the best tank that I have ever bought and that I have ever vaped, ever used. It doesn't leak. I just love the way it looks. And it is very accommodating to a lot of different builds. I will say this build wasn't too big for the holes in the Kylan, but it was almost too big. I don't think I could really go much bigger than, than what I have on this build. But I just love the Kylan. So expect to see it a lot on the channel. Well, we're back 
I got this build all up in this Kylin. And uh, I'm still using the Kylin, of course, and I'm still using the Alien T Priv because these are this is a great combo. This is a great setup. It's freaking amazing. So the coil with paired with the 22 gauge, uh, six reps Mohawk. Uh, it ohms out at 0 0.14, and I'm vaping it at 80 watts. Let's, let's give it a let's give it a go. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Ah oh, man, it le it leaves juice on your tongue, like uh, yeah, it leaves juice on your tongue. Like you know, you, you can really taste it. I will say there is a, a a smidge of a ramp up time, not too much, but just a little bit. Now I am gonna take this up to let's say let's let's do uh, let's do a hundred watts. Why not? So we have a hundred watts on the uh, Smock Alien T Priv uh, using the Kalin. Uh, let's give it, let's let's give it a go. It's my phone. Uh, you can definitely do 100 watts uh, on this coil if you built yours just like mine. If you're going to build yours just like mine, you could definitely do 100 watts. That wasn't too hot. Um, it's still a lot of flavor in it. Let's try it one more time. Still a lot of flavor in it, yeah. Um, I'll take it to 120. That's probably going to be where it's where it tops out, though. It's got to be. I think I think at this point it's probably going to be too hot, but. <laughs> Dent. Know that if you are building this, it's dense. It is super dense. It's almost like you're choking on that vapor. This build. It is a very dense vape. I would say any Mohawk is going to be a very dense vape. Uh, 120, that's about all I can handle. You could probably handle more. I, I think I could probably push it to 150, but I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, it is a crazy, 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 crazy dense, dense vape with a lot of flavor too. Uh, Mohawks are, are there really are um, a favorite. I mean, if you can get your hands on some now... I have looked and looked online. Some people do make them. Some people make them wrong, um, but they are out there, you know. Uh, but if you can make your own, I, 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 I suggest that, you know, because that's what I do. Uh, some quills they they can cost a pretty penny, so uh, I would suggest make your own if you just want to take the time. I will say that it does take time. I've been building for about a year now, and. Um, I've just done this just a lot. I've done a lot of different builds on Instagram. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just kind of, I don't know, good at it? I don't know, that sounds egotistical. But but I have been doing it for a while. I've had a lot of practice and it does take a lot of practice to be able to pull these builds off and get them to like, you know, the real way that you want them. Okay, so <clears throat> on to the juice. The juice is, let's see here. I guess it's a it's a company called Squeezed, and this is their cream line, and this is their pistachio and milk, and I've never really had uh, pistachio vapes. If you haven't noticed, I've been kind of, I've been trying to get out of my realm of like vaping when it comes to flavors. Uh, last week was the was the key lime, and it was amazing. This week it is a pistachio, and again it is really really amazing, and it is very very milky. This this line of juice is pretty known for like just being milky like they they incorporate a lot of milk into their flavors um i had an, i had another one of their flavors which i'll also review and it's a boba tea and it, that was very milky as well but let's uh let's get a vape on here yeah it's like a it's like a sweet cream with maybe some uh, milk and uh, yeah, definitely pistachio. I mean, the pistachio is prominent. It's delicious. What can I say? It is delicious. I really do like this flavor. It's uh, it's very good, and I definitely highly recommend that you go out and you get a bottle of it at your vape store or even online. Um, 
On the bottle, it says that you can go to www.squeezed.com, and it is spelled weird, of course, because why wouldn't it be? S-K-W-E-Z-E-D. www.squeezed.com. I'll put the link in the description. You can go there and get you a bottle. It is very, very, very good to vape. Um, I think that's about it. We made a build, and it's a mohawk, and if you can make a mohawk, my god, you can make anything. Next week, we'll probably be doing something with, uh, I don't know, maybe flat wire? Ribbon wire? Everybody seems to like staples, so maybe we'll do something with staples next week. Maybe this week, depending on how much time I have. But either way, I'm the Weird Vape Guy, and vape weird. <laughs>